seem like a lot of work when you're trying something new, but you can have a lot of fun when you change your point of view. It's time for my ballet class, Mama. I need lots of practice for the dance recital. Well, somebody sure is excited about the spring fling dance jamboree. <laughs> Sister's not the only one. Yes, we're kicking off the whole wing ding with a dance demonstration. <laughs> Mama and I used to be quite a dance team back when we were... Uh, Younger. Whoa! Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I zigged when I should have zagged. Looks like I need a little practice, too. We'll start as soon as I get back. Hmm. That might be a problem. I'm going to be pretty busy building all the decorations for the Jamboree stage. I'm sure we can squeeze a little practicing in. But it's a pretty big... job. Oh, well. I haven't seen Mama this excited in ages. She sure loves dancing. Say, what are you going to do for the jamboree, brother? Nothing. Nothing? But everybody's doing something. Sister's doing her ballet. Gran and Gramps are heading up the square dancing. Mm. <laughs> Papa! Maybe you could be in the hula dance contest like Farmer Ben. I can't dance. Well, the Spring Fling Jamboree is just the place to give it a try. No way. Everyone will laugh at me when I do it wrong. No one's going to laugh at you. Hmm. How about helping me build the Jamboree stage? The only way I'll have time to practice dancing with Mama is if I have some help. Sure. But no dancing. No dancing. Boy, Papa, are you sure you can get all this done in time and help Mama practice? No problem, son. Where there's a will, there's a way. Papa, we have to talk. Oh, I know what you're going to say, but I can't get the stage done and fit all that practicing in by jamboree night. But I can't practice the dance routine all by myself. And I can't do the stage decorations by myself. Hmm. What? No way! I can't dance! You just have to do a little bit so Mama can practice. It's the only way that I'll be ready for the dance demonstration. Okay, but only if no one sees me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for offering to help me practice, brother. Now, I know you don't like to dance, but you do like sports, right? Sure. Well, I have an idea. We're going to try imagining. Imagining? What's that? Well, when Papa was a cub and had to do something that seemed hard, he would imagine that he was doing something else. Something fun. Now do what I do. Imagine that you're a hockey goalie in the net. Good. Now, wait for it. Wait for it. There's the shot. Pow! Catch the puck. Let's call that the goalie hustle. Cool! Now let's imagine another sports move. Watch me. The double bunt. Hey, I bunt better than anyone on my baseball team. Let me try.
You're as good at imagining as you are at sports, brother. Okay, guess what I'm doing now? That's easy. You're imagining you're swimming. And now you're... diving! I can swim and dive. Just watch me, Mama. The goalie hustle! Wait for it, wait for it, pow! <laughs> this imagining is fun. So you like dancing then? Dancing? Those are sports moves, Mama. I'm not dancing. Yes, you are. I guess I am. This imagining really works. When you look at something in a different way, it does make it easier. Are you ready to try it again? You bet. One, two, three, four. Oh, I just can't do it. Can't do what, sis? I have to be able to kick ten times really high for my jamboree dance tomorrow. But it's just too hard. Hmm, ten times is a lot. You should try imagining. Imagining? Yes, imagine you're kicking soccer balls. Try it. Soccer balls. Okay. Kick. She scores. Kick. She scores. Kick. Scores! It worked! It really worked! What do you call it again? Imagining. I think it runs in the family. One, she scores! Two, she scores! Three, she scores! Whew. Hammering in all these nails is gonna be the end of me. Hi, Papa. I brought you some lunch. Oh, that's kind of you, brother. But I'll have to eat it later. I still have to hammer all these nails into that fence. Hmm, that's a lot of fence. Oh, that's just what my arm thinks. Sounds like you should try imagining. Hey, I used to do that. Imagining something fun so the job doesn't seem so hard. It really works. Well then, what should I imagine I'm doing? I know. Imagine you're playing those great big drums in an orchestra. <laughs> okay. Drums it is. Yes, sirree. Imagining does make it easier. Thanks, brother. You're welcome. you, Papa. It's almost time for you two to start the jamboree. Uh, I'm just about finished. Oh, whew. I didn't think I'd get it all done in time. The stage and decorations look great, Papa. There you are. It's time for us to start the jamboree, Papa. I'm ready to zig and zag and zig some more. Wish us luck, Cubs. Huh? Oh, dear. How are you going to dance with a board stuck to your foot, Papa? I'm not. Unless <laughs> brother can run back to my wood shop and get the glue remover. But there's no time for that, Papa. We're on now. Oh. I know how much you've been looking forward to this. I'm sorry, Mama. Oh, it's all right. You got the stage and these beautiful decorations done in time for everyone to enjoy. That's the important thing. Where are you going, Mama? To tell them Papa and I won't be doing our opening dance demonstration. Wait, Mama. I'll take Papa's place. You're going to dance with me? No, I can't dance in front of all those people. But I don't mind showing them my sports moves. Pow! Okay. Remember, they're only sports moves. Wait for it. Wait for it. Pow!
everybody move football move. I call it the Statue of Liberty move. I was thinking that next year I could add a couple of karate moves. Hi! Whoa! But I thought you didn't like dancing. That was before, when I thought I couldn't do it. But dancing is just sports moves, and sports moves are dancing. It all depends on how you look at it. Oh, what a night. I could use a nice hot cup of tea. <sighs> you betcha. And some glue remover. Some dreams make cubs laugh, some dreams make cubs cry. It's interesting to think about what they dream and why. Okay, first we watch Space Grizzlies, and then we play... How about who knows what? We haven't played that in a long time. That sounds good to me. Now, the big question is, who gets to pick this week's family night snack? Um, the schedule says... It's Mama's turn. Hmm. Now what shall we make? How about, um, honey squares? Would that have anything to do with honey squares being your favorite? Well, maybe just a little bit. How about peanut butter and banana roll-ups? We haven't had those in a while. No, not since the last time you got to pick the weekly snack. <laughs> what do you think, sister? Um, celery sticks with, with cheese. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. I think I'm going to choose some of everything. Yay! <laughs> Do you think we have time to make everything? If we hurry, it's almost time for Space Grizzlies! Grizzlies! Okay, Papa. Here comes the fleet. <laughs> Don't forget the honey squares. Continuing adventures of Major Ursa, Yay, Ursa! Ursa, and Princess Gemma. Yay, Gemma! In this week's episode, our brave space heroes defend the universe against a new intergalactic bad guy, Sleezo, mastermind of space. <laughs> Ooh, he sure looks scary. Yeah, keep him away from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> where does he get that laugh? <laughs> Will Major Ursa and Princess Gemma escape the clutches of Sleezo, mastermind of space? <laughs> Join us next week for another thrilling adventure of Space, space Grizzlies! Grizzlies! Wow!
Wow, I can't wait to see how next week's episode turns out. Great show, huh, sis? It was okay. Let's play Who Knows What. That looks really good, sister. It's Princess Gemma. It was Brother's idea to make space grizzlies. Look at mine, Mama. <laughs> Sleezo? But I thought you were making Major Ursa. But Sleezo's cool. Okay, time to clear your stuff away. I have to set the table for dinner. Okay, Mama. Hey, sis, do you want to play Space Grizzlies after supper? I don't think so. I wonder whose turn it is to pick this week's family night snack? That's right. Tonight's a new episode of... <sighs> Space, Space Grizzlies! Grizzlies. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that. <laughs> it's my turn. That means honey squares. You know the rules. Our homework's all done. I just have a little spelling left to do. Well, you have a little time before dinner. Come on, I'll quiz you. I forgot it's Space Grizzlies night. Do you have too much homework to do? No, I finished mine already. Is something wrong, sister? No. The TV's all set. Are the honey squares ready? Almost. <laughs> Although it looks like all this honey has got sister stuck on slow motion. Come on, sis. Hurry, it's about to start. Okay, sister. You do the honors. Lady, <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> Little lady, I said. <laughs> I'm going to make some more. Hurry, you're going to miss the beginning of the show. I think she might need some help. So, you thought you could outsmart the mastermind of space, Major Ursa? <laughs> I thought you could use some help. I can do it, Mama. You go back and watch the show. But I'd like to help. That way you won't miss so much of the show. I don't mind missing it. <laughs> You're not too fond of Sleezo, are you? He... He kind of scares me. Well, the important thing to remember is that when you're afraid of something, it always helps to talk about it. Sometimes that makes it not so scary. I've been having bad dreams about Sleezo, Mama. In one of my dreams, he came right out of the television, laughing that scary laugh. Sleezo is a made-up character. He's just pretend like someone dressed up in a costume for Halloween. But that doesn't mean he still can't be pretty scary. And no matter what it is, if anything on television frightens you, you don't have to watch it. I don't? No, you don't. Then I think I'd like to go up to my room and do some coloring. Okay, then. We'll see you later. Thanks, Mama. Talking about it does make me feel better. Uh-oh. What are we going to do with all those honey squares? <laughs> oh, I think Papa might have the answer to that. <laughs> Just pretend. And I'm not going to let you give me any more bad dreams, Sleezo. Say, Sleezo, do you know why the pony couldn't sing? No, sister. I don't know. Why couldn't the pony sing? <laughs> because he was a little horse. <laughs> Get it? Horse? <laughs> what do you say to that, tough guy? Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Now you're Sleezo the softiest face.
No! But it wasn't the snacks! Brother, wake up! Wake up! Huh? What? You were having a bad dream. Was it about Sleezo? No, why do you think that? Because I was having bad dreams about Sleezo. Mama told me when you're afraid of something, it's always good to talk about it. That made him not so scary. You were having bad dreams about Sleezo? Mm-hmm. Okay. I have been too. This time, it was a whole bunch of Sleezos chasing me. Then I got stuck and there was this big banana roll-up rolling toward me. Whew, pretty scary. Well, maybe it wasn't so scary. Now that I told you about it, it it's kind of silly, really. See? Talking about it does help. And you know what else? If I see something on the TV I don't like, I'm just not going to watch it anymore. That sounds like a good idea, sis. So does not eating so many honey squares so late at night. I had another good idea, too. Huh? <laughs> not so scary anymore, is he? Now he looks like a nice guy. Silly, but still a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Wedding Barry would never marry anyone who's scary. That's why Sleezo has now become Fleezo Nice Guy of Space! Let the biggest wedding in the universe begin! Dum dum da dum! Wahahaha! <laughs> dum dum da dum! <laughs> <laughs>